originally in Spanish, August 2023. What happened in Maui is artificial, and I can corroborate it. The idea is to destroy everything, to force the imposition of 15-minute cities there, part of the New World Order. They destroy everything, thus forcing immigration. Then they make millions with reconstruction and rebuild according to 15-minute cities regulations. It's part of the 2030 agenda and people should know it. It's all artificial and on the part of the U.S. government. 15-minute cities is a global project that by 2030 will impose for the normal population to only be able to move within their assigned cities, where they can go everywhere within their 15-minute run, and they will only be able to leave by paying a lot of money, temporarily. They mean it. Hawaii is one of the first places to impose that, and it makes sense being islands. Have you sent your drones there? Yes, that's why we know it's created, that the fires are artificial. They use accelerators everywhere. There are videos on the web of the human drones. Some say they saw ones that were shooting out something like rays. Again, they are doing things with technology that is above what people are familiar with. But both in Maui and in Spain, drones were detected with standard flamethrower equipment. That is, no energy weapons. Some cases, yes, but not all. They go everywhere launching fire to start wildfires. So their main target would be islands? No, it is the whole world, not just islands. But on those islands, it is easier to impose the first five-minute city, although it is not the first. Oxford in the UK is also preparing for that, among others like Toronto. People don't see it and will accept it because they are told that they will have everything just 15 minutes away, making life easier for them. But how are they going to force people to live in 15-minute cities? With the police and the military. This is linked to climate change to reduce everyone's carbon footprint. That's the excuse. But they would have to build all that quickly. In Maui, yes, but in the rest of the world it is not so difficult. We heard that they only need three million dollars to condition a city for that. They didn't say how big. But they won't be able to fit everyone from all over the planet into those cities at once. And building that all over the planet will take time. For example, where will they put the fence? That's what I would have thought before I saw what happened in the last two years. That is why they will have to create more crisis where people have to depend on the big cities. And that is why they are attacking livestock and agriculture. They are closing farms all over the world, especially in the USA, Canada and Spain. But one thing I don't understand. They say that about their plans openly already? That they want that? Again, according to having to tell the people about their plans? How is it known about the 15-minute cities? It is everywhere already, Gosha. They say it openly, but as a good thing, not as a prison. And it was said by the World Economic Forum and the Bilderberg Club. But they already say it. It is no secret. They just want to sell it to the people as something positive for them. To save the planet. What is really behind it is secret, but it is out 
since the conspiracists are already saying it. Cities are prisons and will become more so. Comment from Robert. But you can't believe everything the conspiracists say either. Yes, that scene is also controlled for sure. Something like this does seem to make sense. Those are their plans. Whether the people allow it or not, we will see. So, after the fires, do they plan to start building a city there? Or what is the objective? Or just to get the people out of there? The fires are to destroy and displace the people. Then they rebuild, but with their experimental prison city requirements. This is what we know. This is the level we are at. We have no way of knowing more in depth, but yes, we take it as real. 